but you needed a Herculean performance from one of them. You didn't get it. And then last but not least, I look at DeAndre Jordan. This is a guy I believe has the potential to be the best big man in the game if he can hit free throws because I think he's that formidable defensively, uh, particularly when it comes to rebounding and blocking shots. But if he can't be out there for you in key pivotal moments or he has to restrict himself uh, simply because, again, you can't use him as a viable option uh, simply because he can't hit free throws or whatever the case may be, then that inhibits your ability to do some of the things that you may want to do. And I think the combination of all of that sporadically throughout this series is why the Oklahoma City Thunder ultimately ended up winning it. Way how to stop him than anything else. I had a conversation with Doc Rivers after the game, and he just shook his head. He said, Stephen, he said, we, didn't, we couldn't match up with him. We just couldn't match up with him. And when you got a guy of his magnitude that gets on that role, it can really demoralize and deflate you because you've run into a buzzsaw and you look and you just seem helpless. There's nothing that you can do. And when you look at the, the offensive repertoire, Skip, that Kevin Durant brings to the table, it would be one thing if you're LeBron James and just muscle and brute force and a locomotive come at you. It would be another if you're Michael Jordan and you have an aerial assault that's unrivaled for ages because we haven't seen anybody fly through the air like you are, like you can. But you can throw a body on those people. You can get physical with those people.